Hi, I'm Dr. David Geyer, orthopedic surgeon and sports medicine specialist, and I provide education and commentary on injuries and injury treatments and injury prevention for athletes and active people, much like yourself, so that you can stay healthy and perform your best. Now, earlier this week, I saw a kid uh, in my office. I say kid, he was probably uh, 21, 22 years old, but a kid to me. But I saw this, this guy in my office um, and then subsequently did a shoulder surgery on him where uh, because his shoulder had popped out of place while he was uh, surfing, which you might be surprised, but that's actually fairly popular here in Charleston, although we don't have the waves like you do uh, in California or Hawaii. But he did it once and then it happened a couple other times where basically the ball popped right out of the socket. And so we, we worked him up and, and I basically decided uh, to at least offer him surgery. So just recently we did a surgery, or I did a surgery, where I went in arthroscopically uh, through a, a small camera and you basically reattach the labrum, the cartilage bumper, down to the socket and kind of tighten up the capsule to try to hold it in place. Now, he elected to do that, one, because he doesn't want his shoulder popping out of place with normal activities, but two, he wants to keep surfing. In fact, he wants to go surfing. He had, uh, he and his friends had this big surf trip uh, to Hawaii coming up actually uh, in about six weeks, and he's adamant about going. Now, I don't know that that, to be fair, is the world's best idea. I, I don't think his repair will be healed enough in six weeks. But I mention this story because people are surprised at something that a lot of people consider a hobby, even though I'll tell you uh, the, the athletes that I've had that have gotten hurt surfing, they're, they take it very seriously. It's, it's very much a sport, but you can actually suffer real injuries in surfing. And so whether or not you surf, or maybe you have a son or daughter that likes to surf, or maybe friends that like to surf, there are some simple ways to at least decrease the risk of surfing injuries. And so I want to share with you five uh, simple tips, really very straightforward tips that you could use to either avoid some of the surf injuries you're Yourself or uh, decrease them in some of your friends or family members that surf. First and foremost is you have to kind of know your conditions that you're surfing in. I don't necessarily mean just the weather, even though that's certainly important, but know the surroundings. Know, know if there's reefs in the area or real shallow uh, water areas. Know where those are and try to uh, plan where you're going to surf accordingly. If you're surfing around a pier, you know, make sure that you uh, give yourself enough room so you don't slam into the pier uh, when you get out of control on a wave. Know your conditions and that will help you suffer uh, some injuries. Another thing that's really important, uh, and I know that a lot of the patients I've taken care of that have gotten hurt didn't do this, but surf with somebody else. Find a friend or a, another surfer that you can surf with and watch out for each other. Not just watch out if you get hurt, you know, so if, if you suffer a real bad injury, maybe a head injury and you're knocked unconscious, that uh, your friend or your other the other surfer can notice that something's wrong and seek help, get, get you out of the water, that kind of thing. But you can also look out for dangers, hazards in the water, maybe sharks, you know, I don't know. But look out uh, for each other and I think that'll help uh, let you stay safe. Um, another thing that I think is real important, and this is big here because we have so many people that want to start surfing, uh, because again, we don't have the waves that California and Hawaii have. Um, they're essentially beginner surfers. But the challenge you run into is you need to know your limits. You need to know um, basically your skill level and not try to do uh, too much before you're ready. So you may not be ready for waves like in California and Hawaii if you've just started out. You get to where you can't control uh, your movements, can't control the board because you've never been in conditions like that before, you could be in a lot of trouble. Now, my fourth suggestion is something that not only I think will help prevent injuries, but might actually make you a better surfer, and that is to work on core strengthening, abs, hip flexors, lower back, muscles around your hips and pelvis. Balance is such a big part of surfing. You're trying to balance on the board uh, in conditions that are obviously very um, tumultuous and turbulent, and you obviously need that balance to stay afloat. The more you work on core strengthening as part of your off-season training, I think the better you will be in terms of being able to surf, but I think it can also help prevent injuries. Just like we're recognizing the importance of core strengthening uh, in sports like baseball pitching and, and tennis and volleyball and a number of other sports, I think it's important in surfing as well. And then the last thing I'm going to suggest, and I know it may not be popular with you if you're a surfer, is helmets. We know that only about 2% of people actually wear helmets when they surf, but a, a survey that was done that asked experienced surfers if they thought helmets would actually decrease head injuries 
three quarters actually said that helmets would be a good idea to prevent injuries to the head. So, you know, I think we don't have many people doing it, but if you know you're going to be in rough conditions, if you know you're going to be uh, in areas where you might happen to uh, get slammed into a pier or a reef or something like that, not a bad idea to consider wearing a helmet. I think especially the higher level you are in the more dangerous conditions, helmets can certainly decrease uh, your risk of injury, just like we talk about in football and a number of other sports. Now, I don't know if you're a surfer, but I'd love to hear if you have any other tips because I'm not a surfer. I've never done it in my life. Like I said, I get a lot of patients uh, that get hurt surfing, but I'd love to hear from you. What other ways, what other tips, what other recommendations do you have that could actually decrease surfing injuries? So I'd love for you to comment. Either comment here below or go to my website, drdavidgeyer.com. And, and leave a comment there. I would love to hear your thoughts. If you like videos like these, I'd love for you to subscribe uh, to my video channel. You'll get videos on injuries, injury treatments, injury prevention, at least every week on topics just like this uh, for more information. Now, if you have any friends that are surfers, I'd really be grateful if you would share this video with your friends or if your kids uh, surf, share this video with them so that they could stay safe uh, surfing. And last, um, I would love to share more resources on ways to stay healthy and perform your best with you. So go to my website, drdavidgeyer.com, and sign up for my free email list. I share resources that I don't share anywhere else. You'll get a free ebook on injury prevention called The Year of the Healthy Athlete that I'm very proud of as well. But I'd love to keep in more uh, contact with you guys. I thank you so much for giving me a few minutes to talk to you about surfing injuries. I hope you enjoy it, and I can't wait to see you next time.